हेलो हाय नमस्कार आई एम भवानी शंकर जना फ्रॉम बालेश्वर ओडिशा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू अबाउट ए न्यू टॉपिक कॉल्ड डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग एंड व्हाई डू वी नीड डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज व्हाट इज डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग That means regarding its definitions. Actually, what do you mean by digital image processing? Before going to the details of digital image processing, first we need to understand the basic three terminologies: digital image processing. That means first term means we need to understand first what is an image, then what is a digital image, what is a digital image, and the third thing is. what is a digital image processing we need to understand first three things then we will go in depth okay so first thing is what is an image let's image first image is a two dimensional function it is a two dimensional function let's understand how it is two dimensional function whatever we see in our bare or naked eyes that is in three dimensional view which is modeled with three coordinate axis that is x y z the object which are shown by our eyes bare eyes that is represented in three dimensional views suppose this is a marker when i see this marker in my bare eyes that means it is in three dimensional view or three dimensional plane if i draw the image of this marker in a piece of paper or in this white board then this marker is represented in two dimensional plane the image is automatically whenever i draw an image of this marker then it automatically converted into that two dimensional plane but in our bare eyes when i am seeing this is represented in three dimensional plane that means the image is always presented in two dimensional plane so conversion of this three dimensional scene into a two dimensional plane is called image that means we may say that image is a projection of projection of three dimensional scene into two dimensional plane are you all getting my point that's why we called image is a two dimensional function that function is f of x y where this x and y are plane or spatial coordinates and the amplitude of this f is called gray level or intensity the amplitude of f at any coordinates x y is called the gray level or intensity of the image at that point or at that coordinates image is always represented in a matrix form we represent image in a matrix form like this this is the matrix here suppose n cos m matrix these are the elements of this matrix so here three rows three columns so we may say that three cross three matrix this is represented in two dimensional axis this is y this is x 0 1 2 or it is 0 1 2 suppose the coordinates of this 0 0 image is represented here this point 0 1 this is 0 2 similarly 1 0 1 1 1 2 similarly 2 0 
टू वन टू टू दीज आर द एलिमेंट्स वेन एवर वी आर गोईंग टू मार्केट वी आर गो वी गो मार्केट फर बैंग सम कैमेराज और मोबाइल फोन वी अलवेज आस्क ह्वाट इज द रिजल्यूशन अफ दि पार्टिकुलार कैमेरा और ह्वाट पिक्सल भैल्यूज दैट टू कैमेरा हल्ट वी यूज टू टर्म्स विच इज भेरी भेरी इम्पोर्टाट वन इज रिजल्यूशन another one is pixel these two terms very very important but we don't know what does it meaning we always use in our day to day life i have 8 megapixels camera 16 megapixels camera 64 megapixels camera 48 megapixels camera but we don't know what is the meaning of pixels what is the meaning of resolutions but we ask so the resolution means how many number of how many number of elements does a picture contain that is called resolution and these elements each image or each picture have some finite number of elements and each elements has its has a particular location and value so these elements are called picture elements these elements are known as picture elements or we may say that image elements image elements or pels or pixels this is called pixels pixels means elements elements of a digital image elements of a digital image this is widely used term this is most widely used terms to denote the elements of a digital image okay and the value of the pixel these are the gray level or intensity the value value the value of the particular pixel is called gray level and intensity i think now all of you understand the image so at finally i am telling about the definitions we may say that an image may define as a two dimensional function f of xy where x and y are two special or plane coordinates and the amplitude of f at any coordinates that x y is called the gray level or the intensity of the image at that point this is called image okay now we go for digital image whenever the value of the x y and the intensity value these values are finite and if the value these three values are discrete quantities then in such cases the image will be digital image whenever x y and intensity value are all finite and discrete quantities then that image will be termed as digital image but if these values are continuous then that is called analog image image basically two types one is digital and the other one is analog are you getting my point so we understand image as well as digital image at finally we go for digital image processing digital image processing in short i write dip that means processing of digital image by means of a digital computer by means of a digital computer that means it is a method it is a method of performing some operations on digital image in order to get an enhanced image in order to get an enhanced image or to extract some useful information from that image that is called digital image processing the most common example of digital image processing is adobe photoshop which is widely used to process an digital image similarly we may take the example of barcode reader in every shop maximum barcode reader is used to process the barcode image and it converts the barcode image into the product price so we will getting the answer of 
digital image processing what is digital image processing then we go to the next what do you need digital image processing why do we process a digital image what is the motivations or interests behind the processing of a digital image basically it is motivated by two principal application areas digital image processing is motivated by two principal application areas what are those application areas two principal application areas first one suppose you have an image to get a better look of that image we need to enhance the quality of that image so we may say that the first application areas for motivation is improvement of pictorial information for human interpretation improvement of pictorial information improvement of pictorial information for human interpretation to see an image we are taking the help of our eyes that means the vision that means the power of vision which is most advanced of our senses so it is not surprising to say that image plays the single most important role in human perception so what kind of pictorial informations need to be improved which is meant for human perception in some cases i am giving you some example in some cases some images are very very poor contrast or some images are very very noisy or in some other cases some images are blurred some images are noisy what happens if those images are filtered then the noise can be removed and the images appear much better if we filter if we process that image by filtering by filtering similarly for in case of poor in case of poor contrast we have to enhance the contrast of that image for better visual enhance we need to enhancing contrast the pictures which are not focused properly then the pictures will be blurred suppose we are taking a picture uh, during a moving car or moving train then the picture is not focused properly in such cases the pictures are blurred or not clearly visible what happened if we process that images by using some techniques digital image processing techniques then then we restore that image then we are deblurred that image and we will get a clear image blurred image blurred image after processing we will get a that is called deblurred we will get a clear image digital image processing is very much or widely used in medical sector or health sector i am giving you a small example suppose there is a cancerous tissue in some of our body parts so what happened we need to scan that part after scanning the scanned images are undergo through the from digital image techniques and finally we will get the place the exact location of the cancerous tissue where the tissue is present and after that the doctor um, doctor take his action to how to cure that image uh, how to cure that uh, particular cancerous tissue so to determine the exact location we need we need to take the help of digital image processing techniques after scanning similarly image processing techniques are widely used in remote sensing also these are the various applications for which 
where these digital image processing are widely used for the improvement of pictures and the second thing is second most widely used application areas for motivation is processing of image data sorry processing of image data for storage transmission and representation for autonomous machine perception processing of image data for storage suppose we want to store an image then image needs some disk space if we process that image then we will get a compressed image for which disk space that required for storing that image will be less not only that we can have also applications for which or where the images can transmit over a very low transmission bandwidth communication channel similarly images are very has very much applications in the field of industry such as quality control particularly in the field of quality control and such other applications are there various applications for which we are becoming motivated to process the digital image so these are the motivations and i already discussed about the definitions of digital image processing i think you all are understand both these things so we will discuss further in the next lecture series thank you thank you all